Do what? Enough to wipe my whistle. <laughs> Talking yesterday, I know you were a little bit disappointed with your 3200. Coming out and winning this and, and breaking 430 in this run like it looked like you did. Um, does that kind of get those bad feelings out of your out of your? It does. To this point, I really was not happy with my performance down here in Burke, but PR, winning the mile, I didn't even meddle in it my freshman and sophomore year. Come back and get this one and get that PR. Thought leaves a better taste in my mouth for all this. Thanks, buddy. What about the uh, push that Hochstein was giving you throughout this one? I lo love running with Hochstein. I've run with him more minutes than I can count during the season. We're pretty good friends. We, his push really helped me because I, uh, I looked on the video board on the second lap and I saw that Adam and I were clear and I, was, I just got a lot more comfortable knowing that it was me and somebody that I somebody that I enjoy running with. I'm always of the opinion you can't truly win until you've accepted the fact that you might lose. And Adam beat me one time this season. He's the only person who ever beat me in the mile this season. And I knew he may beat me. And I just, I just guess that I almost, almost and knowing that I wasn't going to, it just takes a lot of pressure off. Absolutely. Um, having not lost and, and going out with a win in the 1600, finally getting the 1600 win, uh, just talk about how this feels to cap your career. Oh, this is, like I said, I hadn't been happy down here in Burke so far this year to, to end my last high school career race in Burke with the PR, winning the race. It feels really great. All right, thanks a lot, Austin. Yes.